All right, so the moment is here. We have the Nike React Element 87s in hand, and I am excited to give you guys my first thoughts on this brand new Nike model. What's going on guys, Hess here at CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description. If you guys wanna buy these early, you guys can do that as well. This is what I ended up doing. I bought mine from StockX. You can see my tag as well. I bought these for 260 shipped early and uh, I wanted to get these in hand, especially for a review, but definitely because I was really interested in seeing what we had with this shoe. From the very first images back in March from the undercover collabs to the actual releases that are ended up happening in July, I am really excited for this shoe. So definitely the expectations were really, really high. Get them in hand and I have to say that I really like what I have. Put them on feet and I really like what I have as well. So Nike is definitely stepping up with the React game and it's crazy how comfortable this technology is. This is going to be a pair of sneakers that I think a lot of people are gonna be after. Now, I do think that this is a shoe that might not be for everybody. It's gonna be hit and miss amongst the consumers whether or not they like it. The major factor about the shoe that I think a lot of people aren't really gonna be feeling is the fact that it is super see-through as you can see and that's gonna turn a lot of people off because of that type of upper. Now we've seen that before in some other models that Nike's brought to the table. Boom, if you guys didn't know about these, this is the Zoomfly SP and you can see that this has a very, very see-through upper as well. So they are very similar to this but there's a lot of other models on the market that I could be comparing these to. Get out of here. These are the other React models on the market, and then I also have the 4%. So if you guys actually wanna see a comparison to a lot of these other models, smack the thumbs up button and let me know that you guys are interested in seeing that comparison video, and I will do that for you guys very soon. But for this video, I wanted to primarily just focus on this shoe because it is such an uh, interesting looking pair of sneakers. First things first, you have the red Nike box and it says Nike React Element 87. This is the anthracite black and white colorway. And I did go with a men's size 10. I'm gonna be honest, the reason why I actually chose the 10 is because they were cheaper than the nine and the nine and a half. And I wanted to get these earlier and I didn't wanna have to pay more. So I will try to get a nine and a half when they actually end up releasing in July. But for the sake of the video, I got a size 10. And I have to say that these actually fit me pretty good. They do fit a little bit big on my feet with these. So obviously true to size is probably what I would recommend if you're actually gonna be trying to buy a pair. But honestly, I could have a size up and be just fine. So to briefly go over some of the detailing about the shoe, and part of the reason why I think that this is such a popular looking model is because they just didn't do the generic approach where everything is just one piece upper and then you have laces or something like that. They have a lot of different overlays to the shoe and it adds a lot of different dynamics and it just makes it look more dimensional and it feels like you're getting more with the shoe. Part of the overlays are probably important to have because of this see-through mesh upper, which I have to say is actually really, really breathable. Surprisingly, I thought because it was like a plastic material, it wouldn't be, but it absolutely is. You can see you have an overlay for the laces at the bottom and the sides and then reinforcement on the top lace here. Also for the tongue, you have some reinforcement here for the laces. You do get some subtle Nike branding, a little baby Nike swoosh right there. A huge Nike swoosh right here, but it's sort of sunken in the middle of the midsole, which actually would have been cool if they painted the midsole down here and had the rest of the Nike swoosh effect. And if you work your way to the back of the shoe, it looks like this is a different type of material, but it's actually just an underlay underneath this plasticky type of material. It's sort of like a black felt material and it lines the rest of the shoe, including the heel collar back here. For the top of the tongue, it says Nike React. And then on this side, you could see it has a little pinwheel logo right there. And for those that didn't know, that's actually a bunch of different Nike swooshes put together to make a pinwheel effect. Thumbs up the video or leave a comment if you actually didn't know that was the case. So around the inside of the tongue, you can see the piping is done in that same sort of black felt material. As for the insole, it's a nice little touch, but it's made out of cork with a giant Nike swoosh on it. So there's a little bit of heel support on the back. As you can see, there's some hyperfuse material with some stitching that comes up to the back. And then also you can see it comes up here. These definitely have some off-white vibes to them because of the deconstructed sort of feel to the shoe. Like they could have done this very differently, but they decided to do it this way and sort of celebrate the design of the shoe and leave the raw stitching outwards like this. And they also could have cut this material off here, but they decided to just exaggerate it and make it all the way down to the midsole. It offers no functional use, but it adds a little aesthetic dynamic to the shoe. And right above the midsole, it does have that stability plate right here, and then it has the Nike React branding right in the corner. Another fun element about the shoe, pun intended, is this suede patch on the back with a downward facing Nike swoosh. It's definitely not something you usually see 
a little bit out of the ordinary, but I like the placement of that. And then you have a reflective strip for the loop on the back of the shoe, which is again, a nice little element that is actually functional. And just to point out this section here, as well as this section here is actually the felt material on the underlay of the shoe. When you're working with an interesting material like this, it's kind of cool to be able to have some of that material on the outside of the shoe and then some of it underneath because it makes it look like it's actually two different elements even though it's one. The biggest attraction to the shoe is probably the midsole because it is a full React midsole. I have to say that this React material on here feels like it's softer than the other React. I don't know why, but it feels just more like a marshmallow than the other ones and I really dig that. I think it's an awesome feature. The part that a lot of people saw in these shoes from the beginning are these weird little dots on the sides of the shoes. It's an interesting looking design and it makes you just want to push, don't you just want to push the buttons? <laughs> and they're soft and squishy because of that react underneath it. But these do wrap down underneath the shoe and you can see that those are actually the traction pods on the bottom and they feel more significant than on the Epic React. I like the placement better on these than on the Epic React as well. You can see it comes down much further uh, right here. So that's going to be a good thing. I still think this area is going to be very high traffic and it's going to show visible wear very quickly. But overall, as we've seen, the visible wear doesn't necessarily mean that it won't perform well. It just looks like crap. But because of all the positive aspects of the React material, it's lightweight, it's soft and cushiony, it's very responsive. So it's a little bit forgiving that it has signs of visible wear. All in all, I really dig the way that this shoe looks and I love the way that these feel on feet. There's more React on this model than there is on the Epic React. And again, if you guys want a comparison between these and the Epic React, just leave a comment and a thumbs up and let me know you guys are interested in seeing that. But it's really significantly more React on the back section here and also through here. And because of it, it's definitely noticeable on your feet. If you like the Epic React, but you don't like the snug upper fit, then you might actually like this better because it's definitely a lot looser. Out of all four Nike React models that I've tried on, this one definitely is my favorite thus far. And that's saying a lot because I actually really like all four other models. Nike is continuing to innovate and bring us dope products. And this is one of the models that make me excited for what the future holds for Nike. I'm definitely a lifestyle kind of guy. And these are the second pair that hit the lifestyle market with Nike React. The first pair was a Vapor Street, which I have for comparison as well. But these ones are really, really something. I love the way they feel. They're really comfortable. And I think they look really cool. The only downsides to the shoe that I would throw out there immediately from my initial thoughts is one, the upper material, the fact that this is gonna be hit and miss because it is clear and you can't really wear these without socks. I don't really recommend it. On the positive side, if you do wear socks with these, you can have a little added flair to them and make them kind of fun and cool because you will be able to see through them a little bit. The upper material structure is a little bit odd as well. It doesn't hold its shape very well. It is a little bit flimsy and that's just, again, the nature of the upper that they decided to choose for this shoe. For me, these are super stylish as well as extremely comfortable. And because of that, these are definitely gonna be a hit. Also, if you guys want me to do a detailed pro and con video after wearing these a bunch, leave a comment and let me know because I plan on doing that. I plan on wearing these a bunch and really beating these up to see how comfortable they are and how they last over time. But um, I'm excited for you guys to get your hands on these as well. And hopefully you guys will uh, enjoy these when you get them. So I did reach out on Twitter and ask you guys if you guys had any questions about the Nike React Element. And I had a lot of replies. Franchise says, I have a wide fat foot. Do these fit narrow like the other React sneakers? What kind of stretch flex does the upper material have, if any? I have wide feet as well. I will tell you that this is not a very stretchable upper at all. I feel like these fit better than the Epic React. The Epic React fit really snug, in my opinion, across the upper in this section particularly, and I don't have that problem with these shoes. The clear part on the sole, are they air? No, they're just little dots that you just wanna push. Most comfortable Nike on the market? I would say no, but these are definitely up there. Top three. How is the sizing? I would say that these fit true to size, but I have them a half size up, and I like the extra wiggle room personally. That's just the way I roll. So if you have concerns about them being snug, go up a half a size and it might just fit you a little bit better. Boost versus whatever this is called. Personally, my vote is for both. The closest thing that I think these are comparable to is the Ultra Boost ST, which is again, one of my favorite uh, Ultra Boosts on the market. When are these gonna drop stateside? These will be releasing July 13th in the US, including the sale colorway that everybody wants. But honestly, I actually like these better than the sale colorway because the sale with the see-through just looks kind of odd to me. I think that you have more versatility with the black and white colorway. George asked if they're comfortable. Absolutely, yes. GG Creations asked, you paid resale for these? Yes, I did. I paid 260, like I said, from StockX. How's the width comparison to the Epic React Flyknit? Like I mentioned, it feels better across this section here of the shoe. It's much looser, but that's also because of the upper and the fact that there's a detached tongue. So you have a lot more flexibility than with the Epic React Flyknit. 
How thin is the upper? Does the upper dig into your ankle? Uh, the upper is definitely extremely, extremely thin. You can see right through it. So very, very thin. That's kind of the lace length. They're not too long, which is nice. I hate it when they're really, really long. Does the material dig in your ankles? No. In my opinion, the material doesn't dig in your ankles because you do have the felt liner. So at no point is your ankle in actual contact with the rougher uh, exterior material. Bay Area is asked, worth the price or is there another shoe comparison for a similar price at 160 retail these are absolutely worth the price if you're wanting a more versatile shoe though for running the epic react flying it has the lockdown that you need probably better than these this is a lifestyle model so uh, the serious runners probably shouldn't be getting this unless they have a little bit of extra can you do an on feet with socks in your video yes james has a harden i did that just for you bro <laughs> how's the uppers comfort i would say that the upper material is not the most comfortable out there it's breathable, but it's really, really coarse comparison to a lot of these softer knit materials out there. So it's definitely, again, something you wanna wear socks with. This is a question for you guys. I don't know what the meaning of the 87 is. You could think of it as the year, but honestly, I have no idea. I tried to find it and I don't know. So if you guys know, leave a comment in the comment section. Gabriel asked about the transparency between these and the sale ones. I think that these ones are probably less transparent because it's a little smoked look versus the sale ones and it looks more white. Like these ones are white and you can see right through them, but it's also really bright orange underneath. How's the outsole comparison to the Epic React? You could see that it has a lot more coverage all the way down to here, but time will tell if these are actually durable. A lot of questions definitely asked about the wide feet nature of the shoe. Again, I would recommend half size up if you really are concerned about that. I want a half size up, I have a wide foot and I like what I got. It also gives me a little bit more room for thicker socks because most of the other shoes that I wear, sometimes I just throw them on without socks when I go to the grocery store or something like that. This is not gonna be one of those shoes. Anyways, hopefully that answers some of your initial questions about the shoe. I'm really excited to give these a go and wear these a whole bunch and give you guys a follow-up pro and con video to the React Element 87. And if you guys want, again, to see that comparison video, I have a bunch of the other models. If you guys want to buy a pair of these early, check the link in the description. But that's all we have for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and found this somewhat informative. We'll catch you guys for some more sneaker videos very soon. And uh, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Notification bell if you want to be notified of when my videos go live. Thanks for watching. Peace, guys.